Hey guys, it's Jamie Thurber. I am coming at you from my mobile office, which is my lovely Jeep. And it is cold and sunny in the SDL, so I apologize for having the glasses on. I hate having sunglasses on in video, but I can't see without them, so. But I had a quick question for you guys. I'm curious to see. How often does your day go as planned? Like how often do you not have unexpected bumps in the road? Um, I ask that because I teach a lot of planning and a lot of being prepared and a lot of handling situations um, in a positive manner. And everyone tells me, well, yeah, but my day doesn't go as planned or something happens or, you know, I get a wrench thrown at me. Okay, well, it doesn't give you an excuse to suck at life that day. Like, it doesn't give you an excuse to ignore, you know, everything for the day um, and be able to walk around in a shitty shitty mood and think that that's okay and it's an excuse to ruin your entire 24 hours. Like, you still have things that you can accomplish just because something bad happened or unexpected happened. For example, today... Now, I run an internet-based business. Um, So I get up in the morning, I do my studying, which is not usually on the internet. But then, so two hours into my day, I jump on my computer, I'm on my computer the rest of the day. Um, Obviously, I use my phone, and I can use my phone to run my business if I need to. It's just not as effective or efficient, and I like to be efficient, and I can't do that from my phone. So... My point being, today my computer decided to to shoot crap. Like, last night I got the blue screen of death. It happens every once in a while on my computer because it's old and I've been, like, putting off getting a new one because I hate switching everything over. It sucks. But my point is, is that today, that happened. Computer, I started up, I get on the internet. Nothing extravagant. I'm not doing anything crazy. I have a few windows open because that's how my brain works. I have to have multiple things open at the same time. And it goes, it, boop, gone, done. Takes 30 minutes to boot back up. Finally, it boots back up. I'm able to get into the computer. I'm like, you know what? Maybe I don't need to panic. Like, I, I'm good. I don't need a new computer. I, I'll make this work. You know, I'm going to baby it. It'll be fine. So once a week, I have a live call in this my, uh, mastermind group I'm in. So I'm super excited about that. It's, oh, it's today at noon. I'm, let's go. Call starts, middle of the call, live call, one hour per week I get on this call, and it goes away, done. I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? So I got on my phone, you know, and it took me a couple minutes. I missed like three or four minutes of the call, which sucks, but it is what it is. Needless to say, I'm on my way to Best Buy right now to get a new computer. Um, So big, giant, giant wrench thrown in my plans. Um, I haven't connected with a lot of people today via my lovely Snapchat family. Um, So, you know, that sucks for me. Like, that's really what I do on a daily basis. My job consists of me talking to people and and connecting with them and putting out different videos and things like that. So without my computer, really, really, really screws up my day. But guess what? It doesn't ruin everything. It's not an excuse for me to walk around and cry about it and be mean to everyone and just not be productive. That's not an excuse. The main part of my business is screwed and I'm still smiling and still making, you know, making jokes and going about my day and doing my thing. I'm handling my business like a grown up. Guess what? I need a computer. Do I have an extra $500 that I want to go spend on a computer? Not at all. But am I going to? Absolutely, because I have to do what I have to do in order to continue on and be productive. So, moral of the story, the point of my video is do not allow a wrench in your plans to ruin your entire day or do not allow it to be an excuse for you to be an asshole to everyone all day long because it's not. You and you alone control how you handle a situation. You and you alone control whether or not you have a good day or you allow the things that occur in your day to, whoops, can you still hear me? Okay, to affect you um, in a negative way. So 
that's my point. I really want you guys to take away from this video and I really hope that you know, you're able to be bigger than the problems that are thrown at you and be bigger than anything, obstacles. That's the point of life is, is obstacles and how you can deal with them and rise above them and still be amazing and still do work and hustle and get shit done in your day. And yes, that sound that you just heard is my e-brake because I drive a stick shift. I know that probably sounded strange. Anyways, I'm at Best Buy, so I'm gonna go in and buy a new computer. So excited, and I hope you all have a fantastic day. I just really wanted to get that message out there. Thanks for listening.